Hi, my name is Heather Richmond. Welcome to the channel. Hope everyone is doing well and you guys are taking care of yourselves. So in several of my written pieces and a few of my videos, I have referenced elements of what I refer to as the divine pattern. Up until this point, I've not really made an attempt to give a more comprehensive overview of this process. Um, so I'm going to try to do that today. Um, I won't go into detail necessarily about each specific element because that would be far too long. Um, but over the coming days, I will try to break these down um, more systematically as well. <clears throat> so the divine pattern essentially is this series of mystical experiences that unfolds in individual consciousness over a three and a half year, 42 month or 1260 day cycle. Um, this is referenced much in um, scripture. We see the whole, once we, you know, unfold or this process unfolds for us, we begin to see scripture with completely new eyes. And really the Bible is a, it's a blueprint for our um, descension and then ascension in consciousness. So um, there is not a, a lot of information out there about this um, as a, as experienced consciously. Um, and what I mean by that is a lot of people in, in almost any piece of art that you look at, um, or listen to or view, whatever, um, there is some reference to, to this. It's everything. It seems like when it comes down to it is about the division of the two minds and seeking that reunion between the, the subconscious and the conscious minds. But, um, really not many people have written about this experience from a, a more conscious perspective. Um, I want to be sure I give, you know, a lot of credit to both Neville Goddard as well as Aluna Ash. Um, their work has been just completely instrumental in helping me to understand what it is that has been unfolding within me. So if this topic is of interest to you, I highly recommend you check out their their work as well. So um, I'm going to read just a, a relatively short piece of scripture that makes reference to, to this process. So this is Revelation 12. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. And I made a video about the 12 aspects of mind, or we might also call them the 12 disciples, um, fairly recently. So that's what this is an allusion to. She was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. And of course, this means, you know, she's giving birth to a new world, a new consciousness. Then another sign appeared in heaven an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on its head. Its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that it might devour her child the moment he was born. She gave birth to a son, a male child who will rule all the nations with an iron scepter. And her child was snatched up to God and to his throne. The woman fled into the wilderness to a place prepared for her by God, where she might be taken care of for 1260 days. So what we see that um, unfolds in scripture as this idea of a battle against, you know, dragons or the beast, um, that really is just a reference to the, the subconscious mind becoming, um, becoming conscious. And so, of course, it's a process to, you know, make that happen. Um, you know, you have to integrate many, you know, darker aspects of your own, 
um, experience into the light of awareness, essentially. So um, then once this transpires, once consciousness has, or the subconscious has been alchemized, then this pattern um, begins to, begins to become more evident in, in one's own consciousness. So I won't necessarily go into detail about each one of these, um, but I'll um, probably, you know, create more material over each one uh, separately in the coming days. So this series of events includes the resurrection, the revelation of David, the splitting of the temple, and the descent of the dove. So, um, essentially this is the process of the awakening of consciousness. And then in addition to these, um, other events are mirrored as, um, or other events mirroring scripture are experienced in one's own cubic reality. So it's, um, once you have an understanding of this and you look back at scripture, uh, with greater consciousness, it's truly, you know, revolutionary. <laughs> um, you come to a much greater understanding about what is experienced here. So, um, we're going to look at two, three and a half year cycles, and I'll explain the rationale for that shortly. So there's a greater seven year cycle that began at the start of 2014, and that closes on January 21st, 2021. So that's two mirrored three and a half year cycles. Then um, it's also helpful separately to look at this three and a half year cycle that began on August 21st, 2017, which was the date of the Great American Eclipse. And of course, that ends on January 21st as well. Um, when I, you know, in speaking with various people, just both personally and, you know, for my interviews and whatnot on the channel, um, I've come to notice a, a pattern that became very evident to me, and that's not an accident, of course. Uh, I noticed that many of us started having these, you know, sort of mystical experiences, um, awakening in consciousness at that time, that, you know, mid-2017 point, that eclipse was very impactful for many people. So this pattern can unfold, and this is my best interpretation of it at this point in my evolution. So I'm going to try to explain this as well as I can. So the pattern can unfold at a subconscious level. So this is like in dream state, in perhaps vision that's not remembered, things of that nature um, that are, that are, you know, um, only available at a subconscious level over that three and a half year period. Then it can begin to surface in conscious awareness, so like an echo during the following three and a half year period. So it's like a mirror or again, an echo of what was, um, what was experienced subconsciously at the soul level begins to play out in your own physical cubic reality. Um, because we need to see those things, much like I've referenced about what's transpiring, you know, currently in the collective. Um, you know, these are symbols that are being presented to us so that we have a greater um, conscious understanding of what has taken place at a deeper soul level. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, so for some people, this January 21st date can serve as an end point. Um, and then those souls will begin their transition into the golden age of consciousness, which from my perspective essentially means that it's, um, it's out of time. So it's out of linear time as well as being, um, freed from the confines of the physical body. So that doesn't mean, you know, what we call death, um, or what Neville refers to as taking off the garment for the last time. It doesn't refer to that necessarily. Um, I believe it refers to, 
um, having the ability for consciousness to travel to other realities at will. So, um, for other people, this date, the January 21st, 2021 will be a midpoint in the seven year cycle. So what that means, um, is that some people have be, have already ex- during the past three and a half years have been experiencing these, um, mystical experiences subconsciously. So again, that's like in dream state. Um, and now, you know, starting, um, soon, these experiences will be coming up to the surface as symbolic events, essentially. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and read my post that I wrote on Patreon that gives more detail about this, and I'll add commentary as necessary. For some, the wheel of 3D time is coming to an end at the close of this three and a half year, 42 month, 1260 day cycle. Ascension happens one by one, but may be experienced in groups within certain segments of time. We make our return home to the Father, meaning we come to know ourselves as the Father, the one operant power through the unfolding of the divine pattern, which is Christ. So, um, you know, we, we come to the, um, essentially our lower aspects of consciousness are supplanted by the higher aspects of consciousness. Some will transition into the golden age of consciousness beginning at the close of this cycle on January 21st, 2021. For others, it is a midpoint within a seven year cycle. This has nothing to do with any outside group freeing humanity. It is the natural evolution of each individual soul in its own timing. It does not mean that the 3D physical plane of existence will be destroyed. It will remain to serve its purpose as a school or a training ground or a hospital for consciousness. So I think that's a phase that that we all sort of go through. Um, We see that or we from our perspective, it's it appears as though um, you know, everyone is going through this process in the whole world, um, but that is not exactly the case. And then, of course, it gets um, even dicier to try to explain, you know, uh, out of linear time. So, you know, we call this uh, 2020, but of course, all time is existing at all times. So this is just what we are currently experiencing. The pattern can unfold at a subconscious level over a three and a half year, 42 month, 1260 day period, and then begins to surface in conscious awareness during the following three and a half year period. Individuals will see these deeper experiences, which is the resurrection, the revelation of the sun represented as David, the splitting of the temple, and the descent of the dove manifested in their own physical reality during the second half of the seven year cycle. These are very personal, individualized experiences. In the beginning, it will seem as though ascension is taking place for the entirety of the world, but then we realize that it is not. We tune into certain end times frequency, which are frequencies, which are unique, but also follow the same overarching pattern. So I referenced this in an earlier post, um, and perhaps a video as well. Um, you know, this is not the first time that the world has been, we might say sick. (laughs) Um, it's not the first time the world has been masked or, um, distance, all, all of that. Um, you know, these sort of events, these culminating events play out in every segment of time, essentially. So the wheel of time keeps humanity repeating the same thoughts, actions, and behaviors over and over again in slightly different ways. 
This isn't evil or wrong. It is simply an experience that our consciousness must have before rising to and operating in higher planes of existence. Zion in scripture is the conscious mind of man. There is a limit to contraction manifested as suffering on the 3D physical plane. So we can see this illustrated in the golden spiral, also called the, the Fibonacci sequence. I think that's a good um, illustration of that. Upon reaching this limit, consciousness begins its spiral up and out of time into the golden age beyond linear time, or what's also referred to as the 1260 timing frequency. Christ returns, and again Christ is the pattern, to save us from sin. And sin sim simply means um, having the inability to consciously create. We are, you know, veiled off from our, our abilities in that way. Um, and again, that's for you know, a specific purpose. It's for expansion. Uh, so sin is, in its truest sense, is not related to morality or, you know, good and evil. The return of Christ is the return of our power as the Father. To someone not tuned into this frequency of reality, the messages will either be imperceptible or nonsensical. There may also be some who feel drawn to them, but don't yet understand at a surface level. But the subconscious or soul guides all to all information at the right time. All within humanity are destined to experience the unfolding of the pattern. It has all already happened but just appears that it is transpiring at different times for the purpose of our greater expansion so that we help pull one another up in consciousness. So this was something that it took me a long time to, to understand. Um, you know, we I think probably most people who are listening to this are familiar with the idea that, um, you know, the higher the vibration of something, um, once, you know, um, it exceeds a certain level, it becomes in person. A better way to put it, let me back up. A better way to put it is you can only see the contents of your own consciousness. So if you, if this idea uh, of, you know, what this experience is, is nowhere in your consciousness, then you will not be able to perceive this information. So uh, that's, of course, pretty interesting um, in and of itself. Um, so lastly, if I'd read any of this information even a year ago, it would have made no sense or seemed crazy, <laughs> but at the right time, I was guided to the work of a few others and continued to be drawn to it, even though the conscious mind was not able to decipher it. So, um, I guess it was probably this summer, um, that, um, I started reading Aluna Ash's post on Facebook. She writes a um, pretty lengthy, you know, post about this topic. Um, and I, you know, I kept reading and felt myself drawn to the messages, but I didn't really understand, you know, what she was referring to. Um, but I just, I knew that I felt compelled to continue you know, checking all that out. And then I was guided to, to Neville Goddard. And, um, of course, as time has gone on, I, you know, have a much better understanding of what's happening. And so really, you know, that's, that's why I'm sharing my own story, these messages to help, you know, anyone else who is, you know, called to these, to this frequency of reality, essentially. So then it began to rise within me and unfold in my cubic reality through experience, symbols, and metaphors representing the events that had already taken place in the deeper regions of the soul. It is all in scripture and always has been. We just could not truly see it. Once it is illuminated, though, we read it with new eyes and come to understand that the Bible is the story of us. So... Again, I, you know, this is not, um, there's not a ton of detail about each aspect of this. I will, 
um, delve into that further in the coming days, but I hope that this gives you a, a better idea of, you know, kind of the overarching pattern. And as always, if there are any questions, feel, please feel free to drop those in the comment section. Thank you so much for listening.